Okay, this is my lame attempt to try to vent because I'm seriously upset and I don't know what to do. So I'm going to sit here and try to hash out my feelings. So I have this boyfriend and he's unlike any other boyfriend I've ever had because he makes me laugh and he's good to me he's funny and we have a good time together and we're really we have great chemistry physically and I guess uh, I guess I was really worried in the beginning that I wasn't good enough for him or maybe I had too much going on in my life that he wouldn't be able to deal with or wouldn't want to take on because it's uh, it's hard to be with somebody that has children and you know deal with all their ex baby daddy drama or whatever um, I'm just really upset right now because everything that I thought that I knew that would probably strengthen our relationship has kind of not been the foundation. Basically, like, communication is the most important part of being in a relationship. You have to be able to talk to each other to work things out. And I thought that, like, before now, because we've had issues in the past where I have um, either I didn't express my feelings or I didn't, like, tell him exactly how I was feeling or what I was feeling or, you know, like, I, I should have been more open about what was going on with me and basically I just kept stuff to myself and I was trying to figure it out still and um you know didn't want to speak before I knew for sure and you know like I I was in love with him before I knew I was in love with him if that makes sense like I didn't say it out loud until it's probably it should have been too late, but he gave me a second chance. He gave me an opportunity for us to be together and work on a relationship and, you know, see if it we could really make it work. Um, over time, because it's been over a month solid that we've, you know, solid, you know, been together... Um, we technically got together around, um, the middle of December, like around, you know, middle end of December. Um, we officially got together, um, December 29th, but we're saying it's the 28th. Anyway... I don't care about any of that. What I care about is that I love my boyfriend more than anything. And I said something carelessly and stupidly without thinking about it first. And I really hurt him and made him feel insecure, I guess. And I don't know what's going on with him, but it scares me to death that just the feeling or thought of possibly losing him makes me feel physically ill and makes my heart hurt and I, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I'm having a hard time figuring out like how to, how to deal with it because honestly like when somebody is not just a part of your life, but like a major center, like one of the most important people in your life. 
when you're in a relationship and you love someone and you care about them deeply and all you want is to be with that one person. I guess that's exactly how I feel about my boyfriend. And I love him. And I hope he realizes how much I love him. I mean, just being held, just being close to him and hearing his heartbeat with my head on his chest makes me the happiest person ever. Like, I'm not asking for much here. You know, I just want to be near him and I want to spend time with him. And I would never hurt him. I would never purposefully do anything to disrespect him and our relationship. I feel like it's the most important thing in the world for women and men to be honest and open and let their partner, their spouse, their whatever, to know that they're the only one. And I think it's called monogamy. I'm not sure, but you know, I'm going with that one. Um, my heart is so aching right now because, you know, he's not talking to me. Obviously, he needs time to think, and that's cool. I get it, but I don't like it. Um, I want to talk things out when something's wrong. Like, I, I'm a problem solver. I need to have that, like, that connection and that puzzle to solve and I need all the pieces to fit and I need like I need that I need completion I need a plan I need focus like I've had ADD my whole life so I'm kind of a clusterfuck and basically he calms me he makes my heart race but in a good way and I get butterflies in my stomach when I know I'm going to see him I'm completely head over heels madly in love with him and I mean okay I'm just going to have to show you my my baby in action this is my boyfriend and I and we're we're kissing, we're cuddling, we're having, you know, the cutesy little pictures and stuff. And he's my world. He's my world. I, I would not be able to go through the whole day without talking to him. I wouldn't be able to... Just the thought of being with someone else makes me sick. So, if I find somebody physically attractive, there's no way in hell. Like, I don't think about that. I don't think about being with anybody else or, like, possibilities of, you know, opportunities missed with someone. No, he's who I want. Like, John is who I want. I want my boyfriend more than anything. And so... I just, I just feel so hurt and confused and lost right now because, like, there's a lot of things that I have been upset about or, like, confused and in need of some reassurance, and I wasn't getting it, and I, I solved it myself. Like, I talked to myself. I made sure that what happened was is I focused on the good things between me and my boyfriend and I was like okay this is what's going on I love him he loves me we get along together we're magic when we make love when we have sex when we're fucking whatever you want to call it we have that chemistry that connection that like spark of just hot magnet you know like everything is on and popping and I don't even know how to describe how he makes me feel. That's how incredible of a feeling that he gives me. So right now, like, I'm scared to death. Like, any time that I feel that something's not right with us, 
I need it to be okay. I have to talk to him. And I know that he needs space and he needs time to think and maybe, like, I'm overreacting. But when you care about somebody this much, when you love them, you don't just blow it off. You don't just give up. You have to keep trying to fight for your relationship with this person. And if I believe in us, which I do, and I want a future with him more than anything... It just, it just kills me, you know, that we, we're not talking. It kills me that he can't believe that I would never hurt him, that I would not do anything to make him ashamed of me or angry with me. And I say something stupid and fucked up, and I should have thought that through, but, you know, if you tell somebody that you should be able to talk to them about anything. Like, you're all like, come to me and tell me whatever. You know, you should be able to talk to me about stuff. Yes, okay, you should be able to talk to somebody about anything, especially if you're in a relationship with them, because you need to be able to communicate your feelings, even if it's something that that other person doesn't want to hear. You have to talk it out. You have to work it out. Maybe it's just me backing off and letting him have space to think. I don't know, but it just feels pretty shitty to me that, you know, you, you tell somebody you love them, but because you're upset with them, you don't say that you love them. Or you say, talk to you later instead of, I love you, good night, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. You know, I mean, there's certain things that I would never do because I never know it could be my last opportunity to talk to this person. Could be the last time that I ever talk to them in my life. Like, something could go wrong. Their house could get robbed. They could get shot. Uh, they could get hit by a truck. A fucking a plane could fall from the sky and crush them flat dead. And I'd never see them again. But I know how important it is to never go to bed angry. To always try to focus on the positive things in your life. To make sure that you tell the people that you love, that you love them when you can. So, yeah, um, I'm hurt and I'm upset and I'm way too fucking tired for this. So, I guess I'm going to go to bed and hope that everything will be better tomorrow. <laughs>